me now is Jeremiah Van Buren, a candidate for Toledo mayor running under the libertarian mm -hmm. category. Um, now, you attended both the Democratic and the Republican conventions, driving all the way out there on your own. Tell me what that was like. Um, it was once a lifetime type experience for me as being a young individual, just experienced life for what it is for these times today. And what I witnessed going to both the conventions was such tragedies as there was the police were just provoking violence and how anarchists were just at times starting their own um, riots at times too. But as in my opinion from both the conventions, from my own witness and my own um, videotapes, I have witnessed that a majority of the violence became, came from the, the police side. Okay. Now, you mentioned yourself that you are young. 22, is that correct? 22. You are a Whitmer graduate? Yes, 2006. Tell us a little bit more about your background and, and why you decided to run for mayor. Um, I decided to run for mayor simply because I'm the only individual that's to discuss the real issues that's really taking place anymore here locally and here across the country. And hopefully, depending on what takes place with my campaign, I just hope I can just create a movement that just basically could lead to great causes and greater, greater freedoms here in Toledo. What are the real issues that others are missing? The understanding of why we need a local currency, simply because the whole understanding is because the money that we have right here is nothing but an IOU. It says Federal Reserve note, and notes are basically saying IOUs. And our Federal Reserve Bank is nothing but a private bank owned by private individuals. Why would printing a Toledo currency be any different from the currency we use now? Well, our article I have right here says during the Depression, local governments, businesses, and individuals issued, issued currency known as scrip to keep commerce flooring when, banks, when bank closings led to a cash shortage. But would people in other places be willing to accept Toledo printed money? I mean, I would be afraid if I was getting paid in Toledo notes that I couldn't spend them elsewhere. People would laugh at them. It would basically be a way to help support the local businesses, just in case with how the economy is, just in case if there was to be a depression soon, that if we have our own um, <clears throat> issues, of, issues of currency here in Toledo, that we can um, have a commerce here in Toledo help the local business and survive just in case if the time was to come. Okay. We have just a few seconds left. How would you survive Toledo's current budget problems? Basically cut back on spending and basically tell that city council that just we need to stop the waste for spending on garbage cans and just basically find a way to basically create all the money that we have for right now the basically, basically put as much as the offer, officers are being laid off, put them back on the force because as of summertime coming out and with gangs writing graffiti right now, we must find a way to put the people first because simply because we may never know what could happen due to the economy, the, <clears throat> the, the economy that's going on time, the, the short times that's going on right now, and we must put the people first no matter what. All right, thank you. Jeremiah Van Buren, candidate for Toledo mayor, running as a libertarian. That's tonight's Talk Back.